Hi guys, welcome to Book Time. My name is Julia. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the Booktube community tag, which is a tag video that I was tagged in uh, many months ago, maybe last October or November or something, by the lovely Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me, who is one of my favourite Booktube channels. So I'll link her down below. Um, and it basically is just a bunch of, bunch of questions about being in the booktube community. So I'm just going to answer them. I've got my notes down here, so I might be looking down a little bit. Sorry. So the first question is, how long have you been watching booktube? I would say I have been watching booktube about five years, maybe more. I started, I used to watch a lot of beauty YouTube. Um, I still do a little bit, but not much. And I watch a lot of ASMR and then um, after a while I was like I just love books and reading so I wonder if there are any book channels and then obviously there are lots and lots of them so I found them I think I first found Mercedes and maybe Simon Merce uh, Mercy's bookies, bookish musings and Simon from Savage Reads I think they were the first two I found and then a whole world opened and eventually I thought I would like to be part of the conversation so I started my own channel the second question is, how long have you been a YouTuber? I have been a YouTuber or a booktuber about eight or nine months, eight and a half months. So I started sort of just after mid last year, but I did take a sort of four month, maybe even longer hiatus, um, sort of over the new year period. Cause I got pregnant and I was really sick basically, but I'm good now. So I've been doing regular videos again for the last month maybe or a few weeks so it's really nice to be back into it i did keep watching videos during that time but i just didn't have the energy to record so it's really nice to be able to be back doing it question number three is how many countries do you have on your subscriber list so i don't know but i would say definitely at least four or five obviously a lot of australians um americans or well, mostly australians in the uk i would say but then some americans but i know there's canadians as well there are people from south africa and then there's kieran who lives in malta so that's really cool yeah so a number of countries i haven't actually gone through and checked but just from the conversations i've had with people it's so nice to be able to talk to people from around the world and get book recommendations from different not just different countries, but different sort of local regions and local presses in different countries. So that's probably one of my favorite things about Booktube. Question four is how, how do you handle your comments section and do you have regular conversations with other Booktubers? I do, I try to reply within a day or two to comments and I also try to comment on other people's videos. Um, and I do have regular conversations, probably mostly with um, Charlie Brooke I'll link her channel below. She's great. She was one of the first um, booktubers I sort of became pals with. We both started our channels around the same time. And Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me, Simon from Savage Reads, um, also Sonia from An Enthusiastic Reader. She's really cool. She has such interesting book choices. So, I, yeah, we comment on each other's videos. A Hungry Bookworm. And also other viewers that don't have their own channels that regularly comment. And it's so nice. I, yeah, I really love it. So I love chatting to people in the comments section. Question number five is, do you interact with booktubers on other platforms, like platforms other than YouTube? Um, I do. Mostly Twitter, I would say, or Vox, Voxer. Um, I do have an Instagram account, but I don't use it that much. And if I do use it, it's... I do, I'm trying to use it more and I'm trying to use it more for book related things. I just forget because I'm not in the habit of it anymore. But definitely Twitter. I don't post much on Twitter, but I like reading through. I'm a bit of a lurker, reading through other people's comments um, and Voxer for buddy reads and stuff like that. So yeah, otherwise just booktube. Question number six is do you rely on booktubers for book recommendations? I definitely would say the majority of them probably come from booktube, but I don't rely on them i guess i follow the australian lit literature scene pretty closely i follow a lot of blogs and publicity about australian lit so i follow that pretty closely and through podcasts and things like that um but yeah definitely i would say a lot come from booktube and if someone that i respect or like a lot on booktube 
and know that we have similar tastes. If someone like that doesn't like a book that I've been planning to read, I am more likely to not pick it up because of that or vice versa, I'm more likely to pick it up if they really love it. So yes, it definitely has a heavy influence, but I wouldn't say it's the only influence, I suppose. Question number seven is, do you converse with other booktubers on email? No, I don't. I don't really email. I kind of try and keep email for work, I guess, or life administration rather than chats. Yeah. Number eight, with tag videos, do you tend to tag the same people or try to mix it up? I haven't done, this is the first tag video I've done in months and months and months. I suppose I used to sort of tag the same people because I didn't know that many people, but now... I think I'll just not tag anyone specifically and just say if you want to do the video just do it because I think I think that's a more interesting way of um, doing videos for example I haven't been tagged in the cat booktube video or the book the cat book tag but I love cats so I'm gonna do it at some point otherwise anyone should just do whatever tags they want number nine is have you ever sent a book to another youtuber um, yes, I have. I sent a book to Lucy Rutherford, who has a channel which I think is just called Lucy Rutherford. I can't remember. I'll link it down below anyway. She's another Aussie. And I sent her a copy of um, The Idiot by Elif Bachman. I think, I don't know if that's how you say it, sorry. Um, I sent her that book as part of a Christmas, like Chris Kringle, that we did with, in, with some Australian booktubers last year. So. I hope she enjoys it. And number 10 is, have you ever received a book from another YouTuber? Yes, as part of that same book swap, the same Chris Kringle, I received Wintering by Chrissy Neen from Amy Polly Reader. So I'll link her channel down below as well. She is from Melbourne. And yes, I'm gonna start that book today. So hopefully I'll be able to report on it soon and let you know whether it's any good. It sounds awesome, so I'm looking forward to it. Number 11, have you ever been visited by another book another booktuber no I haven't there's a few um, in Melbourne that we've been sort of trying to organize catch-ups but life is just really busy so it hasn't worked out but hopefully we will at some point and obviously next time I travel overseas I'll try and catch up with a few people if I can um, I think that'll be super fun number 12 do you do buddy reads um, I found one buddy read which was with Simon Savage and Jacqueline from six minutes for me last year at the end of last year we read Jennifer Downs Pulse Points the short story collection that was really fun um, I will probably do more but I'm just getting back into booktube which is why I haven't really done any more since then but it was really enjoyable and I did I do feel like I got a lot more out of the book because of it so hopefully I'll be able to do some more again soon and number 13 is tag some of your friends well like I said I'm not going to tag anyone particular I just think Anyone should do the tag if they want to. I like this tag because it's sort of, I don't know, it's nice and heartwarming and booktube is a nice community, so it's nice to talk about it. Um, anyway, that was a very quick video for today and I hope you guys have a great week. Chat soon. Bye.